So my name is Dr. Jason Hickel, and I'm the author of The Divide. The Divide is about the problem of global poverty and global inequality. Uh, it starts off with the observation that uh, more than 4 billion people in the world today live on less than $5 a day, uh, which is the, um, the minimum necessary for a sort of basic human existence. And the per capita income gap between the global north and the global south has been growing since at least 1960, having tripled in size during that time. So, and this has been happening despite um, our massive international efforts to uh, give aid and uh, involve ourselves in international development efforts. Um, so the question becomes, why has this effort failed so miserably? Um, what's going wrong? How did we get here? And one of the main arguments of the book is that, uh, is that most people tend to assume that poverty is kind of like a natural phenomenon, or that the success and failure of rich countries and poor nations um, has to do with their internal policies, right? But this is actually a very narrow and ahistorical view. And if we take a broader view, then what becomes clear is that um, the fate of nations is due largely to uh, the structure of the global economic system, which has been designed intentionally over 500 years or more to serve the, the interests of a handful of rich nations at the expense of most of the rest of the world. Uh, and this was particularly clear during colonialism, but we can see the same patterns happening today um, in the form of uh, international trade rules, the, uh, the global finance system, the debt system, um, tax evasion, and, uh, and climate change, and so on. And in fact, uh, if we look at the, the amount of money that's flowing from rich nations to poor nations in the form of um, aid and foreign direct investment every year, it's in fact vastly outstripped by the money that flows in the other direction. We often think that rich nations are developing poor nations, but in fact the opposite is true. Poor nations are effectively developing rich ones. So this is the story that the divide sets out to tell. Um, and the argument is that uh, until we start addressing these deeper structural problems of global poverty and inequality, then these problems will continue to persist. Um, ultimately, inequality is a problem of power, and until we face up to that fact, then, uh, then we're going to go nowhere.